All right, what are we doing? One more. We're gonna go to Sturgeon River Gorge. Go see the falls, fall colors. And then we're gonna work our way back over here, check out Victoria. It's old historic town and a dam and a reservoir. Not a river. And then camp somewhere down here, northeast of Waters Meet. A whole bunch of random campgrounds. We'll just see what we think. Hi, welcome to another adventure with Brian. And Heather. Outdoors. I'm Heather. I'm Brian. And today is October something, nine? First, first week, yeah. First week of October. First weekend of October. And we were supposed to go on a fall color tour, but uh, <laughs> where we decided to go is way past peak, mm -hmm. so... It's... Which is Sturgeon River Gorge Wilderness, which is part of the Ottawa National Forest. I haven't been here since I was in high school, so I'm just going to check it out and uh, do a little hiking. Mm -hmm. Not sure where we're going to end up tonight. We're just going to kind of drive around. I have some potential camp spots, campgrounds in mind further west and south, but we'll just see what happens. So randomly driving around and we just stumbled across a trailhead, the Pine Bluff Trailhead. Hey Brian, are you really liking this place? Old man's beard, that's what it's called. I don't know, it's kind of like that stuff. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But... Either way, I liken it. <laughs> you got there. I don't know, we have to look this up, but I just remember it from kids. It smells, it's got a really fragrant smell to it. Yeah, let me smell it. Getting near something, you can see a big drop off. Yeah. Made it to the ridge line. Almost there. We are quite a ways up, but not sure if this hike is actually going to lead to any views, but I guess we'll find out. We made it to the end of the trail. Pine Bluff Trail, basically straight in and straight out, and not very photogenic, but we're definitely high up. All right, so after finishing up the Pine Bluff Trailhead, we hit the road again to make our way towards the Bear Den Overlook. All right, so we're at Bear Den Overlook, mm -hmm. and we got a nice view here. It's not unobstructed view, but you can yeah. get a feel for how tall the the valley really is it's big yeah you know, so. so whatever glacier made this was pretty serious yeah i'll just walk around a little bit see what we can see uh yeah you can see how big it is but it's hard to get a real clear view so take you along for a short little walk up this trail it's almost wheelchair accessible it may actually be they actually cleared a little section of trees so you can see out Oh, 
I was taking a video of the leaves raining and you came running down. What's up there? Yeah. You get too obscured by trees. All right, time to head back, maybe find some lunch. Yeah. All right, made it to Sturgeon Falls, is it? Mm -hmm. Trailhead. Gonna have a little bit of lunch. What's on the menu? Some chicken salad. Some smoked chicken, some... some celery. Oops. Put the wrong trail mix in? No, I put all the trail mix in. Be a crunchy chicken salad? Well, it, it, it'll taste great, but I wanted to save some of this for the second round. Don't be going too fast. What do you think? Pretty yummy. And some carrots. Fueling our adventure. Off we go. Trail. This way? Descent down to the river valley. Time to descend, Sadie. She's like, uh-uh. No, I'm not, uh-uh. Like, yeah, no, not bad. I'm fine. Down is optional. I'm good. Up is mandatory. Come on, she's waiting for me, probably. Come on, Sadie. Mom will go first. Yeah. Yep. yep, she's waiting for me. She's waiting for the pack leader. You better? You better? Yeah, let's do it. How's it going back there? <laughs> Pretty good. Look at that's where we're going to be in a minute. The switchback. You can see the other trail down there. Mm -hmm. Something tells me I'm going to be ditching this sweatshirt on the way up. It's pretty hot. It's actually like 70 degrees today. It's pretty nice. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. that, the breeze actually feels good. Yep. And that smell of fall in the air. Perfect fall day. Just a little past peak, but that's okay. You can hear the falls. Is that nice? Yeah. Gross. Oh. Uh huh. She's just basking in it with her poop bag and everything. Well, that really sucks. I just got my only pair of shoes wet. My toes are dry. Really beautiful. A little bit tricky getting set up for the shop. That Sadie perched over there. Got Brian and the he's doing a time lapse, the tripod, and I'm just sitting here drying out my pant legs after stepping in the water trying to take care of Sadie. So that's where I'm at. Hike ever. Huh? What? Fell off the rocks. And then we had to tie you to a tree. She's so tired, she just wants to lay down. Her like, eyes are half asleep. Ooh, I know. 
Penguin Adventure Dog. You're not talking to us, are you mad? Brian was smart enough to bring two pairs. He fell in as well. And time for the socks. All right, we've made our way into Norway Lake. This, this looks like a nice little lake. Otherwise, we're gonna keep driving. There's some campsites on Lake St. Catherine and Perch Lake. So, let's see where we end up. The campground. All right, site three. Awesome view. Yep, on the water. Over the water, but not on the water. And the trees that we do the camera to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So three is a potential. Mm -hmm. to scope out the water access because it'd be nice to launch the canoe right from our campsite. I'm staying behind because I have all my shoes and my socks off still. And he wants me to come check it out. So barefoot it is. Ow! I'm barefoot. Where'd you go? can't see you. The beach is right here. I mean, this is a giant site for a huge party if it was, you know, the middle of the summer, but... Um, so technically there is... Easy water access for a canoe. Canoe access. Nice sandy beach right there, too. Where you from? This one is site 17. It looks pretty big too. We're gonna drive in and check it out. It looks a little bit more private. Shoes are dry. All right. This is a pretty huge site too. Lots of trees for hammocks, which we like to sleep in. A little bit more private than that other site. Let's check out the water access for our canoe. Put the canoe in right here. All right, stop and check out 21. It's smaller, but we don't need much. We mainly look at bigger sites when we think about bringing our friends along. Hammock trees. Mm. Yeah. Hammock, hammock. Canoe launch. Looks like a pretty sweet canoe launch area. It is going to be raining in the morning. Yeah, I don't know, I kind of like that it's more like enclosed in the woods. The other ones were so huge and then that one trail ran right through it too, basically. What do you think? Is this one or the last the one? Got six the best view is the first one. <laughs> That's the least private. private. What are we going to pick? You're going to pick the site. We are back at site 17. So, found three seats, three seats, three sites that we like. First one is not as private. 
The second one, which is site 17, has the best views and it's close to the bathrooms, which is where Brian is going to empty his bladder right now. I'm kind of thinking I like site 21 though. It's a lot more enclosed and intimate and private and the trees. <laughs> I forgot that I'm in selfie, hold on. The trees, as I was about to I was kind of hoping to put the drone up because I haven't been able to drone yet this trip because you're not allowed to drone in National Forest Wilderness Area. I think the trees at that uh, Site 21, I'm using this gimbal and it's like, ah! anyways, I think 21 it is. He's coming back. I've made my final decision. Oh yeah? What do you think it is? Uh, probably to stay here. Nope, 21. You want to go to the other one? Yeah. Are you sure? This one's got the shelter, so it's pouring rain in the morning. Go have coffee in there. Well, we still can go have coffee in there in the morning if it's pouring rain. That's true. Clearly we aren't used to having this problem. Usually campsites are super booked out. I imagine these are first come, first serve. Um, not a bad problem to have, but the two of us are awful decision makers. And then when you put us both together to make a decision, all we do is one of us makes a decision and then the other one's like, whoa, what, but? So that's what's currently going on, but I've made up my mind. Site 21 it is. I wonder what he's gonna say when he comes back. Do you wanna just fill it out and we'll drop it off right now? Which one are we doing? The site you want. 21. Alright. <sighs> Mic check. Mic check. Powder your nose. Stop it. <laughs> we are trying out the new mic on this trip. <laughs> We made it to the campground. They call it a dead cat. Oh my god, Brian. <laughs> made it to the campground. We're at Norway Lake, and uh, it's a pretty sweet spot. Right on the lake. We're just getting ready to uh, launch the canoe. We got camp all set up, our hammocks. We got the perfect hammock trees, so I'm going to sleep in the hammocks tonight and uh, go for a little paddle, come back, cook some dinner, relax. Have a small little campfire because we don't have much wood. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty stoked about this campsite and this campground. It's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah, and there's like nobody here. We had our pick of sites. Oh, and... It's the beauty of late season. Uh -huh. It could have been uh, 40 degrees today. This is way above normal temperatures, yep. so you, we're lucky he's... to have this day. You can put it. <laughs> yeah, we're you're testing like, it out. You're like the, you know, like in movies where it. The boom mic here. Yeah, we got a boom mic. The boom. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> We're going to get to it. <laughs> We're going for a canoe ride. She's so tired. She just wants to lay down. Come on, girl. Come on. Girl. I just want to go to bed. Sadie, come. Sadie, come. Come on. Come on. Sadie, come. Sadie. Sadie, come. Sadie, come. Come on. Let's go. Sadie, come. Sadie, what come. a little crap head. It's like, no, we get full. I think I was a little confused because my leash is still on, so I thought that I was going to get choked out. I really wasn't being bad, I promise. Hey! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, just water. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going, getting in the canoe. Sorry. It sucks. It's very bright. I forgot my hat. Ready? Slowpoke? Am I ready? Yeah. Thank you.
made it back from our paddle and cook some dinner maybe start well definitely start a fire just a not short-lived fire because we don't have much wood yeah <laughs> we gotta figure out a wood situation small fire it's pretty early yet it's like 5 30 so it's gonna be a pretty low-key afternoon kind of like our first like real overlanding where we have we had no destination whatsoever we we're just gonna figure it out so this lake wasn't even on my list of lakes to check and it turned out to be just about perfect yeah it's pretty sweet doesn't really get any better than this what's on the menu Cracker barrel mac, ground beef, and a little bit of onions that I sauteed up ahead of time. Hamburger mac. Oh, he's so tired. It's a hard time being an adventure dog, isn't it? Cuts into your 26 hours of sleep a day. Somebody came underprepared for the fire. How much wood did you bring? Zero is the answer to that question. We might have to forage. No, we're not going to forage. It's not. It'll be fine. See, these days I'm already cold. I wish I had a fire. You're fine. <laughs> Some tweezers. Oh, see, I was thinking chopsticks. You're gonna eat your. Hamburger bag with chopsticks? <laughs> no. You boiling over? Yeah, real bad. Hamburger mac malfunction? Just water right now, but... Oh, you didn't put the noodles in yet? Well, no, the noodles are in there. It's just... Uh, it's just noodles. Oh, it went out. There we go. Time to eat. I'm so hungry. Dinner is solved. Drop it, so I don't have extra. <laughs> Yum. All right. Got the Jeep all packed up. We're supposed to get some rain in the morning, or that's what we thought when we checked the weather yesterday. We weren't smart enough to check it before we uh, camped. Service. Yeah, before we lost service. So we're just planning for rain. Hopefully we're not packing up in the rain, but... All packed up, gonna enjoy this fire and go to sleep in our hammocks. Sleep good last night, Sadie. Yeah, were you a good hammock sleeper? Yeah. You hanging out in your sleeping bag this morning, Sadie? Yeah. This is Sadie's little rough wear <laughs> sleeping bag. It's just the cutest little thing. It zips close, but we like to leave it open for her and then she just barrows in it. All right, so it's the next morning. Clearly we packed up and Going to explore more of the area, check out a couple more lakes on the way home. Decided to check out some of the other campsites and lakes in the area just for future reference. So, go Lake, down yeah. Lake St. Catherine, Lake St. Catherine, check out Marion Lake, check out Perch Lake, Martin Lake. That was Martin Lake, yeah, Martin Lake, and then just work our way back down Lake St. Catherine. First, Oops, sorry. It's nice Let's see what Perch Lake has to offer. It's a nice old forest.
right, so we, we're taking Ponza Road back towards Gibbs City and Iron River, and we're gonna take this offshoot and go check out this, uh, what's marked as a little campsite on the Paint River. Which is a canoe route. Canoe route. These are the maps that we use, and they're pretty amazing for all of our adventures. And I will include a link in the description to where you can go purchase one and help us keep creating. All right, well, we made it to the end of the dead end road where there's established campsites at the river. Oh, sweet. Wow, this looks like it'd be an awesome river float. New Zealand mud snails are an invasive species. Gross. <laughs> Stop with the microphone. Well, made it back home. Tired. It's nice here though. It's like mm -hmm. 70 degrees still, so. Yeah, it was pretty rainy and drizzly our whole way home. Stopped off at a few places and yeah, overall pretty nice overlanding kind of impromptu. See where the road takes this kind of trip and Definitely going to be back. Some pretty awesome campgrounds that we found. Yeah, it was a nice area. Yeah. It's pretty happy. So, uh, yeah, give us a subscribe if you haven't already. And that's about it. Thanks for coming along. Bye. Dead cat. <laughs> we don't even know if that's what it's called. It's a dead cat. <laughs> it's supposed to be a windscreen. <laughs> I think it's called a dead cat. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Bye. This is what the post adventure looks like. <laughs> mm, he's tuckered. <laughs>